What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Mirror 4. And today I wanted to bring you guys a little bit of the uh, new boss content which is the Nurkan in the Black Flame Abaddon. Now this boss is kind of unique because it only spawns on certain servers on Tuesday. And you can see which servers it is by looking at the cross server expedition list. And you can go and travel and do this boss on other servers with the expedition. Now, in my case today, you know, we have a crossover alliance among DTM. So I was invited to participate on NA71 kind of just to get the feel for the boss and be able to record this for you guys. So as you can see here, when the boss spawns, it is chained down, it is sealed, and it will unseal four hours later. It spawns at 1900, unseals at 2300 hours. And uh, from what I've gathered, it took some people a long time. I'm not expect expecting too much because it is level 130, just like um, the Utican, and it has 200 mil HP, so a little bit more HP. But I'm expecting it to take around the same amount of time for the same similar power group. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and just record this and speed up the fight. So hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you at the end. Oh, yeah. 
all right guys so we're on the last 10 mil here and you know what definitely not too bad nothing like the first time we tried to do Unikin back with rollback when it took like six hours um, you know it, it's gonna be right about 30 minutes here um, pretty straightforward the attacks are not crazy it did have some ads at the beginning um, and then also you might have seen around 70 mil health um, we had a bunch of ads come out they they seem to have about like uh, two mil power level 130 but didn't seem to hit for any incredible amount so it weren't too hard to deal with you just kind of pull them into the boss and dps um so overall not not a huge deal i think this uh the team here has around you know around a full party i'm not exactly sure i haven't counted them up exactly um but looks to be about a full party uh, plus me so you know what overall pretty straightforward um i'm happy with how this went i've heard some other people took a lot longer so i thought this was going to take a lot longer um but with this power it's been pretty good so um now we're going to see how many chests drop from this bad boy oh there we go all right so let's just run around and see real quick so you got all these gold four five six seven eight nine is it nine go no f six yeah so pretty nice here definitely a uh, nice set of chests kind of comparable to Utican. I am waiting to see what they tell me to grab not really too worried about it but we'll see all right thank you All right, so we're grabbing a gold chest here. Let's see if we get any good luck. If you guys hit that like button real quick. Let's see if we can spread some luck to me. I know this video after the fact, but you know, guys, it's, it's the thought that counts. So let's go let's see if we can get something good. Let's see if anyone gets anything good. Uh, I see some skill tomb so far. Probably gonna be pretty similar to Utica in terms of the halls. Normal stuff, let's see. Do I get lucky? I got lucky, not too bad. See, uh, it wasn't purple lucky though. Oh, I got five Norse oil herbs. That's a little bit different. Not bad. Bow, blue, ah, ah, you know, not too big. Oh, look at this. What is that? What was that? The dragon's bead. I'm not sure exactly what that was. Dragon's bead. Was that the uh, one of the legendary treasures? Uh, that was pretty cool though. Well, some kind of legendary dropped. Might have to go watch the footage back and see. Right, so now they're gonna distribute the rest of the chests. So what we got here? We got you know a couple of magic stones. Uh, yeah, magic stones. What else came from here? Yeah, that's all I see so far. Another magic stone popped up. And still seeing some skill tombs. So, like I say, I mean, definitely not bad. Nice set of chests here. Um, very similar to Utican. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys' experience is. Right, at least I'm getting a red chest as well. Thanks to these guys for just kind of fitting me into their rank system here. I definitely appreciate it. Appreciate them having me. Um, so let's see if we get anything out this red chest. Gold chest didn't really wasn't too special. The, the herbs was kind of interesting. The fact you get like the five herbs, I think it's a little different from uh, from the Utican. I could be wrong there. All right, get some treasures, some more herbs. Got a skill tomb, and let's see what we get for the lucky. Yeah, we got some pants. All right, we did get a magic stone that time. Not bad. Then we're going to get a blue. 
and see if we get anything good from the blue here. Uh, we got some more spirit tokens. Not bad. I always take those. Another herb. So herbs seem to be pretty common with these. Oh, oh, I got a Draco mystical piece. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what. Skill damage reduction. Look, ooh, hoo -hoo, lucky drop, baby. I don't know what these guys are doing. I don't know what we're doing. Some kind of gather race for the last ones. I don't know. Go. Hey, I got one. I've never done that before as an interesting little game to play to try to get into the distributed chess. <laughs> okay. GG. All right. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks for the content. I appreciate it. Catch you guys later. Yeah, man.